Here's your nine to know. It is Thursday, December 14th, and here are the nine stories you need to know before starting your day. The ATF is asking for information in the murder of an Okmulgee man. Investigators say Jonathan Pigeon was shot and killed while walking to his mother's house three weeks ago. The ATF offering a $5,000 reward to get an arrest. Oklahoma City Police tell News 9 fingerprints helping solve a cold murder case from back in 2010. Charges have now been filed against Daryl Brown for the 2010 robbery and murder of a convenience store clerk in the Metro. We've learned, though, he's already serving time in prison for conviction on a double murder. Oklahoma County commissioners working against the clock to nail down a new Oklahoma County jail site. Commissioners have removed the airport location from the list of potential sites along with two other locations. In order to use federal funds, the jail has to be built by December of 2026. The U.S. House votes to begin an impeachment investigation into President Joe Biden. This comes after the president's son, Hunter, was subpoenaed by House Republicans and then was a no-show. The White House and Democrats call the whole ordeal a political stunt. Governor Kevin Stitt signs an executive order requiring colleges to review their diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. Governor Stitt says colleges will need to eliminate non-critical personnel. The governor is requesting all colleges in the state report their DEI spending to him and the legislature by May of next year. A heads up for Tesla drivers. The automaker is recalling more than 2 million Tesla vehicles. There's a defect in an autopilot system. The system is set to ensure that riders are paying attention to the road even if they are not driving. U.S. safety regulators say the company will send out a software update to fix that problem. The director of River Sports announcing River Sport OKC will hold trials for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games for the Whitewater Slalom Trials. Olympic trials here. That announcement follows rumors that River Sport could be playing a big role in the 2028 Olympic Games, which are coming to Los Angeles. Now the billion dollar question, where will the new Thunder Arena go? Oklahoma City Manager Craig Freeman says, it might be at the current home of Prairie Surf Media. That's actually the old Cox Convention Center here in downtown. It is owned by the city. Details on who will be uh, designing the new arena are expected to come within the next few months. A new arena must be open and ready to go by the 2029 Thunder season. 647, let's get